Hello everybody, this is Lola in Hawaii. I'm making some of my French postcards that are embroidered. They're sort of a modified crazy quilt style. I applique different fabrics on the background, put an image, and then do some hand stitchery as you see there, and some beadwork as you see there, and usually a label to denote the subject, or since these are greeting cards, it's nice to put a label. You could also put a person's name. And this one is 4 by 6 They should be postcard size, and that's the regular size. You can take them to the post office and have them hand cancel them. This one's completed, so there's the backing on it. And I'm going to work on the second one to show you how I do that. In order to make it fit nicely and not skedaddle around, I'm going to put um, glue stick in this case. You could put some tacky glue too, but just in the center. Don't want to have it where I'm going to be sewing. So I put some glue stick, and then make sure it's up, not upside down. This is a reused postcard, so there we go. So that's done. The next thing is to sew around the side. And if you notice, this one is a little lot wider there, so I'm going to just trim that off a little bit. Don't want it poking out too much. As you finish the edge, it may um, pull it in just a little bit, particularly if you make the tension tighter. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to go over to the sewing machine. I've got a zigzag stitch in this case. I've got the width is 4.5 and the length is 1.5 and that's variable. You could do it any way you want. So I usually start on a side or at the bottom, uh, not at the top. And I'm going to turn over and do, on the do this on the card side. That way I can make sure I'm catching the card. Okay, so there it, there it is, stitched on, there's the back. Now the trick that I sometimes use, in fact when I sell these, I sell them in sets of two, and I usually put in some other instructions like framing them or making them into a box top or something like that. So anyway, this is my little idea for this set. And I just have one of these frames. Now this is a pretty frame that I bought I think I got this in Walmart. So this is the embroidered piece. The glass piece goes next. And that sort of holds everything in place. But you don't want glass on the embroidery. Okay, and then this goes these little sort of little hinges. They get folded down. And there you are. And it stands. So that's it. I think it looks rather nice framed. You could put the glass over it if you feel like you need to. I don't. I think people like things that are tactile and they can come and not exactly pick at them, but just see that it's handmade. Okay, so let's see what the other one looks like in there. This time I hope I don't get it upside down. I have tried these, so I know they look good. Okay, so there's the postcard, and there's the glass. This is a 4x6 frame, by the way. And it was very inexpensive at Walmart. Okay, so here we, here we go. Just going to close those hinges. There we go. Okay, so there's the other one.